Coming up on today's episode, Diamond launches the DA-20C1, CAE launches a new financing initiative for aspiring pilots, and Eastern Michigan University signs a new partnership with Crosswinds Aviation. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly news program dedicated to all things flight training, as well as the amazing industry built around it. There's no segment more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. I'm Sophie Herlock. Diamond Aircraft is relaunching the DA-20C1 due to the high demand for single-engine training aircraft. The aircraft is powered by a 125-horsepower Continental IO240 engine and is now equipped with new state-of-the-art G500 TXI avionics. Originally introduced in 1992, the DA-20 exists in two variants and is certified as a utility category aircraft as well as being popularly used for primary training with the ability to do spin training. With over 1,000 DA-20s already operating worldwide, the strong desire for lower cost new single engine aircraft in the training environment continues. The DA-20 has proven to be the safest and most efficient aircraft for primary training, and many fleet operators are raving about its return to production. With nearly 7 million flight hours across the DA-20 fleet in the world, it is a high utilization aircraft with unlimited lifetime on the airframe and unparalleled value retention. The first brand new 2020 DA-20C1 were delivered last month, and Diamond is currently taking new orders for delivery in 2021. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. Winners of the National Aviation Academy's Charles E. Taylor Aviation Maintenance Scholarship have been awarded for the 2019-2020 school year, and $7,000 was awarded to students at seven different high schools. Applications are now being accepted for the 2020-2021 school year, and NAA will be opening up the scholarship to additional counties in Florida, Massachusetts, and GED recipients. Up to 10 additional $1,000 scholarships will be added as well, increasing the total scholarship funds available to $20,000. NAA's Charles E. Taylor Aviation Maintenance Scholarship recognizes and encourages students pursuing careers in aviation maintenance, as well as promotes the future of aviation and specifically highly trained airframe and power plant mechanics. The EAA has introduced the Young Eagles Workshop Program, an additional next step activity for EAA chapters to engage with children following Young Eagles flights. In the workshop, children and teens aged 11 through 17 will have the opportunity to learn more about aviation at a local airport, with sessions geared towards introducing kids to the basic elements of airplanes and aviation. Through various classroom style learning and hands on activities, the workshop will provide emotional, creative, social, and educational growth with mentorship from EAA chapter members to inspire children to embrace aviation as a potential recreational or career path. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University has suspended a number of students at both its Daytona Beach and Prescott, Arizona campuses for hosting or attending parties where ERAU safety protocols for face masks, 
social distancing, and other directives were ignored. The students will be suspended for at least the duration of the fall 2020 semester. And while ERAU says it was a difficult decision to make, they have clearly and repeatedly communicated their mandatory health precautions, and disregard for these policies creates unnecessary health risks as well as violates their honor codes. The university also pointed out the economic impact of the virus and how it has crippled the aviation industry, making things especially difficult for early career job seekers, stating the sooner we can all get back to business, the better off we'll be. But right now that means we must knuckle down, exercising persistence, self-discipline, and optimism for the future. Sterling Flight Training has taken delivery of two new Piper Archer TXs, expanding their fleet of aircraft and training devices. These new aircraft represent Sterling's commitment to providing students access to the most reliable and latest technologically advanced training tools and aids. This investment comes as student enrollment continues to grow through Sterling's FAA-approved 141 in-house training courses. And university partnerships with Purdue University Global and Liberty University's aviation degree programs. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. We spent days flying and burning fuel and experiencing the new Swift fuel. I'm pretty dang impressed. I mean, to come out with a high octane replacement fuel with no lead, that's a tall order. If they continue to go the way they're going, Swift fuel will have a replacement fuel of the market. It's better for the environment. It's cleaner on your engine. That's game changer. Introducing the new ELT 345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price, while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. CAE has launched a new financing initiative for aspiring pilots, which will connect them with banking partners that offer specific financing solutions for pilot training, making the profession more accessible. Approved partners will speed up the processing of applications and will offer competitive rates. In addition, future CAE pilots will have access to a dedicated team that understands the reality of future pilots and a centralized point of contact in each of the participating banking solutions. On this new financing initiative, Nick Leon Titus, CAE's Group President Civil Aviation Training Solutions stated, Financing is a major barrier to becoming a pilot. Despite the impact of the COVID-19 crisis on the aviation industry, CAE foresees significant demand for new commercial pilots over the next 10 years. Because it takes approximately two years to become a qualified airline pilot, the funding program will ensure that we can meet the demand for pilots when the industry recovers. After bringing their partnership with Eagle Flight Center to an end, Eastern Michigan University's aviation program has now signed a five-year partnership agreement with Crosswinds Aviation, a flight training school dedicated to having a transformative impact on the lives of youth beginning their careers. The new partnership will add a variety of benefits to the university's aviation program, with three locations in the Livingston County Spencer J. Hardy, Flint Bishop, and Oakland County International Airports, Crosswinds Aviation will offer easier access for commuter students, and with plans to add a Willow Run location in the near future, EMU Aviation students will soon have four convenient locations for training instead of one. Crosswinds Aviation is also providing the opportunity for students to train in a wider variety of aircraft, including the Diamond DA-20, DA-40, and Cessna 172, to ensure EMU Aviation students are well-versed in a variety of aircraft upon graduation and entering the field. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to like and subscribe before you go. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and for more aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you again on Friday.